Hi guys, Lizbeth here getting ready to do another drawer in my kitchen, or not drawer, but base cabinet. It's going to be this one. And yeah, okay, this came from the other side of the kitchen last time. And uh, okay, it's not coming out. Not coming out. What do we got here? We've got a takeout container that they gave us an extra one and I don't know why I thought it would be a good idea to keep the unused one. That's going to go in the trash. This is the filter for the refrigerator. These came in this cabinet. I had them upstairs for a while and I put them back in. I can't figure out what they are for. I Well, we'll look at those later. These are two containers and usually like if we make muffins or something people I let people uh, or my grandkids take them home this lid is cracked so I think I'll just say goodbye to this container and it's cracked lid what the heck this is a pan that my husband makes his chocolate cheesecake in so that's a keeper over here this is another container with a good lid on it. So I will keep that. And here is another container with, its lid is good, but they don't stay on. Like they just set on. They don't really like snap on that well. Of course, now it makes a liar of me. It's not coming off. But usually, you know, you can't, Pick them up too well but since that looked like that was snapping I will keep that and those are like I make muffins or whatever and send them to somewhere here's my big stock pot that I use occasionally so I do need to keep that these two like I said they came in this thing and none of my base cabinets have those pull outs and I wonder if you're just supposed to put stuff in here and pull it out but I mean, look at the size of those holes. What could you put in that that wouldn't fall out? Or like if you put pans in it, wouldn't... I mean, I can't think of any... I mean, those holes are huge. You couldn't put like potatoes or onions or anything in those. But maybe they are to pull in and out. I'll keep that one out and try to use it in a different base cabinet. Maybe you can use it with your pan, so... I will see. I'm sticking my pans back in. Sticking stuff back in my pans. Uh, is that gonna cause trouble? I don't know. Let's fin let's finish the top before I reload that thing. We've got freezer bags. Freezer bags. I think those are the same size gallon. So yeah. Here, let me let's just put those all together. Put that together, throw this in the actual trash pile. Freezer bags, I don't use freezer bags very often because I try to use my glass, um, my glass food storage dishes and I try to not to buy too much for the freezer anymore. Like if I'm going to buy meat, I try to just to use it before I have to freeze it. Because I don't think it tastes as well. That might work okay. Tastes as well. I don't think the meat tastes as well once you freeze it and thaw it again. That's what I'm trying to say as I've moved on to another topic already. Okay, this is my knife block. Up there I used to have the uh, coffee maker and the knife block. I moved the coffee maker to the other side of the room and took the knives out and put them in that drawer. Uh, once I complete the kitchen 100%, I'll go over every drawer and everything so we can see the final process. Because as I move stuff, then I have to move stuff back. Then I have to move it around. Depends on what fits where. This is my mixer, which I use quite often for me, who doesn't cook very much. So I definitely want that. I do like it under here. So you know what, though? I should put it with my other small appliances over across the room in that one. So I will move this to the small appliance drawer and see if how that works. 
Okay, in in here, what I had up there was this pot, which I'm keeping. I keep this where we were before. We had a fireplace, gas fireplace, in case the, I don't know, in case something went out, I felt like we could use it. And this is like one of the few pots that has metal handles to use like over a fire somewhere. So I'm going to keep that. This is like one of those reusable uh, filters, which I keep just in case, uh, I was gonna like show the coffee thing, but it's over around the side. So just in case we ever run out of coffee filters, this came with it and reusable, so I'm gonna keep that. So, we might stock pop in here. Put those things in there. Okay, shove that back. I've gotta admit, I don't use that stuff very often, but you know, when you need it, you need it. I am going to keep my knife block because since I've just moved them in the drawer and I do think I like them there, but they're those ever sharp and sometimes ever sharp, it's like their container that sharpens them when they go in and out. Now when I look down the holes, I don't see any like sharpener type deal in there, but I'm keeping it just the same. Okay, the water filters. I'm going to keep these bags that I don't use very often, but every now and then I need them, so I will keep those in here. They don't have to be hugely accessible because I don't use them that often. This is a book of manuals. I know that Marie Kondo says to get rid of all your manuals, but I'm keeping them for all the appliances and stuff and a list of suppliers like if I if something breaks or something so I keep that tucked right here I have used it a few times to call people to fix things here in this first year so now I need to let's see, refill this drawer thing see it's like it's not a sturdy bottom it's you know what are you supposed to do with that thing there. Let's throw this one up here. Ahem. Let's throw this one up here. Ahem. Let's throw this one up here. This, The inanimate objects are supposed to work with me when I say stuff like that. They evidently have not been trained very well. And then this bowl, put the lid back on. Because these are the two main bowls I use out of here when I um, make muffins and cupcakes and stuff with the grandkids for them to take home. So, I don't know if that's the best use of this, but that's what I'm using it for. So that one is done. And that is the trash. That I'm going to try to use with the pots and pans in a different drawer. And this I'm going to move over with the other small appliances across the room by the refrigerator. And shoot, since I'm already sitting down here, let's open the bottom stove drawer. Um, let's see, I've got two cutting boards. I don't know, I don't feel like this kind of cutting board gets the cleanest. I mean, look at that. I run this through the dishwasher. Uh, I evidently need to run it through again. I am keeping this. I'm going to run it through the dishwasher again because I don't like that look. The second cutting board, and I do like to have two. The like more stained one I use for uh, meats, though that looks like it didn't get all the spices that I covered the meats with off of it, even though I ran it through the dishwasher, making me wonder. And one I use for vegetables. This, I only have one of these. The other one was rusted like crazy, and of course this one's getting rusted too, though I do use the muffin cups, um, like the paper muffin cups, but I am looking for replacements because when I make cupcakes, I need like two of these for the cake batter because we have to fill up one of these and then like a round cake pan, and I'd rather just make all muffins or cupcakes with the grandkids because they're easier to ice and stuff. So, 
I am going to get replacements and throw this away, but I'm keeping it till I get the replacements. Oh. Why does everybody else's cookie sheet do weird things like this? And I wash them, but it looks like I don't. I don't understand these. This I've had for a long time. But that one other one and these two Wilson ones. I mean, I probably only got these three years ago, four years ago. And they look like I've had them for, you know, four decades. I don't know what that is, but I do use all the different sizes. So I have four cookie sheets. I actually use them all for different things. This big one that I had thought about getting rid of at one time, it's just the perfect size for a Kroger flatbread, meatball flatbread that I buy in their like deli, freezer deli area. And just love it. So I'm keeping them even though they all look like crappage. And then I have one meatloaf, well, my, it's a bread pan. I use it to make meatloaf. So I do use all these items. And so I am keeping them all, except for the cupcake thing that as soon as I buy more, buy two more, I will replace this one. However, I was in Bed Bath & Beyond looking at them and that was like $24. For a cupcake tin. I thought that is freaking ridiculous. Then I looked at different brands at Bed Bath & Beyond. And the cheapest one was like $8.99. And I'm like, you've got to be kidding. So I'm going to see what you know, I'm gonna see what Walmart has those. Because that to me, that is just a ridiculous amount of money for a cupcake tin. Am I crazy? What do you guys pay for cupcake tins? So this is how that drawer looks, even though I'm going to take that back out and put it back in the wash because I'm not happy with that. So this one is done and underneath there is done. And I think all I have left is the pan cabinet and under the sink. And then I will clean the kitchen and put stuff away and stuff. And, and well, probably won't be today, but sometime have a kitchen overview. Thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Evidently, since I did the KonMari method on my kitchen before I moved to this house, I don't, I'm not having lots of stuff. And I think that just goes to show that the KonMari method worked. Because even though now I'm just doing it drawer by drawer, um, I don't have a lot of stuff out of each drawer. Thanks uh, for hanging in there with me, guys. And I will talk with you later. Bye.